think the very first time I consciously um, heard the term anarchist or anarchism was in high school. Ironically, I think it was a pretty conservative science teacher who used it in the context of saying something like if he had to uh, position himself politically, he'd like to say he was an anarchist, but unfortunately that doesn't really work, so he has to vote for it some conservative party, as far as I can recall. I didn't know, I guess I was 15, I didn't really know what an, what an anarchist was, and so I inquired, I guess I asked my mom and tried to look up the term. And I guess it said something about, you know, being against authority and not liking the state or whatever, and uh, I found that was intriguing and started reading up more on that, and I think really very early on kind of identified myself politically as an anarchist because of that. And in the beginning it was really very much that kind of focus. I guess it was very individualistic. I guess the, the, the anti-authoritarian aspect appealed to me because I always had authority problems, as they say, as a teenager, especially with um, my teachers. Uh, and I remember when I first read about anarchism, uh, the history of anarchism, and there was a lot about working class struggle and whatnot. Um, to be honest to me, as a 15, 16 year old, that was really alien. I just couldn't relate to that. Um, but I guess fairly quickly I kind of realized how different forms of oppression were connected. And uh, and then, I mean, I started uh, giving talks about anarchism in high school and all that. So, yeah, I guess that was a pretty early, early embrace.